Hello, game developers and Godot enthusiasts. Here are five new features that I am looking forward to in Godot 4.5. Bone constraints. This will allow for more natural 3D movements and poses for your 3D models. This is already within Blender, and I'm very curious to see how this transfers over from Blender to Godot, or if there is any thought process on a transfer method to help with the Blender to Godot pipeline. Filtering tracks in the animation player. This will help with sifting through mountains of animation tracks that you have on specific nodes or scenes. Another great feature that's coming in this update is chunk tile map physics. It is the optimization of collision with tile maps. Having individual collision for every single tile in the game can really weigh down your project. Now, the tile map layer will automatically combine each cell and create a single collision shape to resolve the issue. To see what your collision shape is doing in editor, you can check collision enabled on the tile map layer node. Some cool features with this is that the collision shape adjusts with multiple tiles. Here, I created an alternative Godot tile and the collision shape adjusts accordingly even though it's two separate tiles i also created another tile set and as you can see the second tile set also works with the first one and the collision shape adjusts as if they are all one object the shader baker this is a way to optimize your project by baking all of your shaders all this will be pre-compiled on export and will help decrease load times whenever transferring from scene to scene or level to level if you look at the development snapshot 4.5 beta 1 on godot's website you can see the difference in load times the svg texture importer i'm currently working on a top-down 2d rpg that only uses sector artwork and importing the artwork is a pain a lot of my textures tend to be blurry or pixelated they just don't look crisp anymore and i feel like the svg texture importer will help move godot in the right direction for vector artwork in video games what's something that you're looking forward to for the 4.5 update